Now, most of the world's history originates from what's been written, and we only know the half of it. A lot of where we originated from was never scratched into stone, and today has been lost. We don't have a clue about what pieces are missing from history's picture. Yet, from time to time, archaeologists discover things that don't exactly fit with what's been recorded. More often, we find things in a weird place that nobody knows how things had gotten there. However, they recommend some unimaginable occasions that may never have been recorded. The only tales that made it into the history books are the ones told by survivors after all. So, here's a list of 10 recent historical discoveries. Let's dive into the past! Number 10. The Heaven Handbags There's a great chance people from the old world were a fan of shopping, or perhaps had some weird art taste. There's a particular art design that keeps springing up all around the globe. It shows something that seems as though a little tote, generally in a bunch of three, and ordinarily up in the sky. No one truly recognizes what they mean. The latest one in Turkey shows three purses gliding over the entirety of creation. Similar totes have been found all over the globe, including India, Egypt, and even Central America. It is, by all accounts, something that's been passed on from an old Middle Eastern culture, which may make it an approach to follow where these folks came from. The reason, intriguingly, the Maori of New Zealand utilize the three totes as well. They have a fantasy about a saint named Tain who went up to heaven to get three bushels of information, a picture that appears to be oddly like the one cut in stone in Turkey. It could simply be a fortuitous event. In any case, this may be a solid sign that the Maori have progenitors who once lived in the Middle East before moving to New Zealand. Number 9. The Giant Village of Peru Famous for the Machu Picchu Sanctuary, Peru has unveiled another chapter from history. When the Spanish originally came to Peru, conquistador Pedro Cieza de Leon recorded all that he could in a book called the Chronicles of Peru. It's loaded with the fantastical, nitty-gritty, and precise depictions of the way of life of locals, the victories by the Spanish, the subtleties of the earth, and peculiarly, a town made by giants. Cieza de Leon recorded a local legend about giants that showed up quote, in vessels made of reeds as large as enormous boats. According to the legend, the monsters fabricated wells that were past the local innovation just as huge towns to suit their size. Afterward, an extraordinary fire descended and expended the giants. Oddly, however, Cieza de Leon professed to have seen the town created by the Goliaths. He said that they were sufficiently large to fit the story. He even professed to have seen a giant's skull and a femur, and authenticated that different Spaniards saw teeth that probably weighed 0.2 kilograms, or about half a pound. It's unclear what he really saw. Is it safe to say that he was deluded? Did he make it up? Or, on the other hand, did the Spanish conquistadors truly discover something in Peru that proposed they weren't the only outside guests to show up? Number 8. The Egyptian Goddess Temple on the western shoreline of India, there are the remains of a sanctuary to the goddess Patini. It's anything but an especially weird thing to discover in India. But then again, there's actually a mysterious load underneath that's reputed to hold an underground altar to the Egyptian goddess Isis. The ruins are currently claimed by a Hindu sanctuary, so no one's had the option to check what's underneath them. In any case, as indicated by author Chris Morgan, the possibility that it was a mystery sanctuary to an Egyptian goddess fits. He accepts that an Egyptian explorer may have come to India and began a clique devoted to his goddess. Morgan accepts the possibility of the goddess Patini originating from this religion. Number 7. The Markahwasi Ruins In the Andes Mountains, there are peculiar rocks known as the Markahwasi Ruins, they give off an impression of being rocks cut by people, etched to be molded like human heads. One specifically looks precisely like a rough duplicate of the Egyptian Sphinx. The hypothesis is that the stones were purposefully etched by an obscure people. Although it's for the most part upheld by some odd speculations, including tales about outsiders and magical recuperating powers. 
One of the more famous hypotheses originates from a prehistorian who asserts that the site was worked by a scriptural human advancement called the Masma, who made a trip to Peru and cut unrefined impersonations of the miracles they'd found in Egypt. His hypothesis, however, originates from having seen it in a fantasy, which is marginally not exactly logical way to deal with history. Still, regardless of whether they weren't worked by outsiders or by scriptural clans, it's not feasible that somebody cut these stones, making them an unimaginable masterpiece still without a name for its maker. Number 6. White-Skinned Warriors by Mayan Murals In Chichen Itza, inside the Temple of the Warriors, wall paintings are delineating a scene that doesn't appear to fit the Mayans' environment. The wall painting shows ruthless fights battled between some groups for pre-Columbian Mexico. Some have pale white skin, some are completely dark, and others are brown. The Maya left a story called The Dance of the Giants. In it, a white Goliath meets up with the Maya and encourages them to ward off a dark giant who's hassling them. As per one disputable hypothesis, this really occurred. The dark-skinned giants, it's accepted, were Aztecs moving in from the north. Also, the white-skinned giants may be Vikings. Number 5. Chinese Oracle Bone Writing in the U.S. As per John Ruskamp, another group made it to the Americas a great many years before the Vikings, the Chinese. Ruskamp discovered unusual images scratched into old stones in 82 places around the southern United States. Each carving follows a similar style, and none of them coordinate anything made by the nearby societies. Ruskamp, nonetheless, is persuaded that they're not simply arbitrary squiggles. He accepts that they're messages written in Chinese prophet bone script. Oracle bone is perhaps the most established type of Chinese composition, which almost became unused altogether around 1046 BC. On the off chance that Ruskamp's hypothesis is correct, this would imply that the Chinese pilgrims arrived at North America around 3,000 years ago. Number 4. Native American Legends of White Giants In 1857, a Native American of the Comanche tribe remained before a group and revealed to them a story. Quote, Incalculable moons prior, a race of white men, 305 centimeters or 10 feet high, and unquestionably more rich and incredible than any white individuals presently living here, possessed an enormous scope of a nation, he said. They drove the Indians from their homes, putting them to the sword and involving the valleys where their fathers had dwelt. It appeared as though a story of what was going on now. However, all that changed when what gave off an impression of being a Greek emblem and two coins were found in Oklahoma. From that point forward, genealogist Donald Yates began sorting out the proof and understood this wasn't a separate story. The Choctaws likewise had a tale around, quote, a race of Goliaths with white skin that lived in what is currently the state of Tennessee. Number 3. Ancient Ape Bones in Ireland At the Hill of Tara in Ireland, a body has been deliberately let go. Its bones were given a full VIP treatment. However, they don't resemble the bones of a typical lord. Rather, the bones look a dreadful part like those of an ape. It's not by any means the main arrangement of chimp bones found in Ireland. Another primate skull has been found in the county of Armagh, and seems to have been there for around 2300 years. No one knows how these gorillas arrived. Somebody in the antiquated world, for reasons unknown, was taking apes up to Ireland and burying them there. Number 2. Today's Subscriber Pick And with all of that, it's now time for today's Subscriber Pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. As for now, don't forget to comment and let us know what you think about the image. The Great Sphinx of Giza is one of the most established, biggest, and best of all, most baffling landmarks at any point made by man. Between its far-reaching folklore, indistinct beginnings, and claimed associations with universes past our own, the Sphinx is a notorious fortune trove of exclusive history and data. There are a lot of theories about what could be inside the Sphinx. Archaeologists have been trying to find ways to get inside. 
The area circled in red seems like a hidden gateway to the inside. Could this be the door to wonders in the past? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 1. A Roman Sword in Canada On Oak Island in Nova Scotia, a TV team coincidentally discovered the exact opposite thing they at any point expected to locate an antiquated Roman sword that appears to have been there since AD 200. The sword alone is stunning. It proposes that a Roman may have made it to North America 800 years before the Vikings. Yet, it's not in any case the main thing they found. Others have to dig up other peculiar things that shouldn't be in Canada. A crossbow bolt wedged into a tree, a Roman-style entombment hill, Carthaginian coins, and even a stone with what has all the earmuffs are being Roman writing. Everything made around 1800 years back. That's the end of today's video. We certainly hope you like it. And if you did, give us a thumbs up, click that bell notification button, and leave us a comment telling us what you thought. As always, thanks for watching.